Box Tasia. One hundred five point seven, a mediumatic three sixty five on YouTube. Another good edition on backstage show, a live talk with a Salma Slim, a Gambian based in the states. How how much those Gambian find out their 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 blood brothers and sisters who are doing music in foreign, and how connected are those artists to to the Gambia? Let's try to find out from Salma Slim. She's a let me say a rapper, a singer, you know, but the vibe is crazy. Let's hear. Her from her own mouth. Welcome to Backstage, Madam Salma, handshake. Thank you. Thanks for having me today. You, you're so welcome. How do you describe your music? Let me start that, then we get, we get to the root of the interview. Man, my music is crazy. You know, I, I come with, like, I come from a background of African culture, clearly. But a lot of, of how I started doing music was just by songwriting in the studio with different artists. And then I put two and two together and then I just started coming up with a rapid flow and you know precision in my music and just from even the beat selection just coming up with different crazy sounds and making it unique and trying not to sound like anybody else you know when did you realize that you are an artist that can write those songs you've been writing and now sing it and rap it I actually realized after I attended a concert I attended the TLC concert maybe when I was like 10 years old Okay. And then after the concert, I went home and I was like, oh my God, mommy, I want to rap. I want to be a singer. I want to be on stage. I want to do everything I can possibly to make it. So I kind of like started writing music and kind of learning the formula for putting songs together, even from the hook to the chorus to writing songs for other people and then realizing I could do this myself. I could be the actual artist on the stage doing it. So that's how I started with everything. How far have you gone yet with your career? I've, I feel like I've... I've just started my career. I don't feel like I've gone too far yet, but a lot of accomplishments that I've made are tremendous. Like, I've opened up for Currency, Wiz Khalifa, Candy Burris, Juicy J. And I saw Kendrick Band, Lamar, too. And also Kendrick Lamar. So those are also a blessing. And that all happened within this year. I was in a girl group for six years. We were a distribution under Convict Music with Akon, so it was it was really it was a good experience. But when I branched off and went solo, I figured out that that was my real passion of just being a solo artist and working by myself. I know one listener out there must be like, okay, we a lot accomplished. Why not? Why haven't we had a Salma right. in the Gambia here? What happened? Well, I was going through the motions, you know, a lot. Uh, I was in a group. So this year I finally decided like, look, I'm going to go to Gambia this summer. I'm going to introduce people to my music and I'm going to embrace my culture. So I'm working on a new project called The Diary of Sound Muslims. The Diary is explaining who I am as a person and getting people familiar with who I am as an artist. So one of the things you're going to hear in there, I'm going to be speaking some well of. I'm going to be talking about my family, the things that we went through and stuff like that. And get people to know who I am, not just, you know, hearing a whole bunch of music and they like it. I want people to be like, I can relate to her, you know? How aware are you to um, the Gambian music industry and the artists? Oh, I'm, I, I love the Gambian music right now, especially the artists coming out of the Gambia. I'm really impressed with that. Great. Salma Slims. Um, uh, I'm not surprised. Um, uh, you call yourself Salma Slim, the Slim. Is, yeah. is it the looks? Oh, where did that, well, that come from? The name was actually given to me. My name is Salma. That's my real name. And then um, the Slims was just added, like just being in the States. Like everybody just used to be like, what up, Slims? And I just was like, Slims? Like, and they were like, yeah, Slims, you're small. Like, you know, you're not too small, but I'm going to call you Slim. So I just ran with it, put two and two together, and I used that as my stage name. Great. Yeah. <laughs> You you speak our local languages? Yeah, I can. I had some Olaf in your in your in your song. Yeah. One line. Yeah. And you'll hear more of it on the diary when it comes out. Okay. It's, it's looks seems to drop in July. Next July. This July coming. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, uh, let me let me put you on uh, on this spot. Um, uh, I know you you you've been away there, but family is still here. Yes. You know what I mean. Um. Uh, what tell me a, sh a small thing that you know about the Gambian music industry right now when it comes to few songs and few artists that you listen to? 
I'm familiar. Difficult, right? Yeah, it is difficult. But right now, I know one artist that's very popular. He has a song with Wizkid out. His name is G. Okay. He's a very talented artist. I respect his grind, his hustle. And I, see, I look forward to hearing more from him in the Gambia. Great. What are some of your um, uh, other plans, apart from the Diary of Salma? which you really want to, as you said, want to put Gambia on this. I mean, to identify yourself and connect yourself with where you come from. Yeah. Talking about your family, lifestyle, and culture. I'm going to be coming here more often now. Maybe um, even doing some more shows here and starting to perform for people and giving away to the country, you know? And I also, what another thing that I want to do is that's when I go back home and start my organization called Keys to Success. What it is is... Um, organization and success for the brighter future and just to you know push kids to stay in school and finish strong so that in the in the end they'll have an outcome of success okay um uh, have you seen anything in impressive yet i am so defensive <laughs> about um our industry or so much mm -hmm. concerned because um People like you are definitely needed um, uh, some way, somehow, because we need our representatives. We need our sisters and brothers right. in foreign who will say, I'm from the Gambia, and yeah. we watch them and feel proud. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And when they come down here, we'll be like, yes, she's the one or he's the one I've been clapping for on YouTube or on stage shows. Right. You know what I mean? Um, uh, what, what do you think Gambians need to adjust? I think they just need the people to embrace them. You know, people like to feel like they're they're needed and they're wanted and they're involved in what you're doing. So as long as you involve the people in what you're doing, I feel like the people will come behind you and they'll stand behind you and really support the movement in the in the direction that you're going. Because it takes, like they say, it takes a village to raise a child. I feel like it takes support to make an artist blow up. So it's that support that is what people need right now. Real true talk. I spoke um, with your your sister sometime on on this show, and she was talking about fashion. Yeah. You have connection with that with your music. Yes. Tell me something about yeah. it. Yeah. My style is very wild. Some people say, but I like to I like to mix like different pieces in my clothing, like African clothing, and wearing things that nobody would ever expect me to wear, and making it cool to wear it. You know what I'm saying? Like fashion and um, I have also a cousin her clothing line which is Lilio Designs and um, from here on out like my shows back in Atlanta she's designing a lot of pieces for me for them so it's going to be very different and people are going to be like dang I like that outfit you know different. You, you mentioned wild two times you, crazy I think you, you, your style is wild or crazy yeah. you mentioned twice yeah. how wild how crazy break it down for us. Uh, is it the performance, the energy, or the style, the fashion, the, the lyrical I think, content? I think it's the I think it's the energy of the outfits that I wear, and then you know, plus my my music style is already crazy, you know. So I I always need clothing that matches that. Okay, I always ask artists this question: What do you deliver in your songs? What is your point? What do you talk about? What do you want people to hear? I talk about a whole bunch of different things. It's just based on what I go through. Sometimes I can be really arrogant in the music, or sometimes I could be like real storytelling and letting people know like it's okay, you know? So you just gotta, whatever I feel or whatever I, I relate to that certain day, sometimes I just sit down and write. Like just being in the Gambia, I go to the beach sometimes, I pull out my pen and my pencil and I just write everything that's going on, everything that I see so that when I go home, I can relate it to the diary that I'm working on. Who are the kind of people that are connected to your music so far? I mean, the age gap. Um, my, the age group that of people that listen to my music, I would say, is between high school and college. Right now, I'm trying to grasp that adult fan base, but it's going to come over time. But right now, I'm sticking to the youth. The youth. Yeah. Are you seeing beyond the youth, or you think youth is all right? I think youth is all right for now, but you know, I'm young. You know, I'm 22. So as I get older, I feel like my music will get older and my music will grow. You must be very young when you ventured in music then. Yeah, I was, uh, I couldn't say I started strong when I was 16, when I was 16 years old, because I was in the girl group and it helped me a lot as an artist to you know, find myself and find my sound and figure out what, the type of person I am and where I want to go with my music. So when I went solo, I was ready. Have you gone through this family hustle that we normally do here when mommy will like, don't sing, no, I will sing? 
Man, I have, but my family, I can't lie, they are very, 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 very supportive of what I do. They stand behind me. They're, they'll be the first people to tell me, Salma, what you're wearing is not nice. They'll put, <laughs> they'll put something else on. They'll be the first person to say, ah, I think that song is kind of cool, but I think you should tone it down a little bit and not say this as much as you say it. So they're very supportive. They help me with everything, and I love them to pieces. That's motivating. Yeah. Do you really want to keep it inside the hip-hop? R&B circle, I mean, the general wise, yeah, or you want to explore yeah. somehow? I, I think I want to keep it inside the hip hop R&B circle because that's who I am. A lot of I've tried a lot of different sounds. Like I've, I've been through so many things with different labels and record deals and stuff. Like where they were trying to make me sound a certain way and make me dress a certain way. But it got to a point where I was like, you know what? I need to just be myself. And I feel like that type of music is myself, and it describes me in a lot, a lot of different ways. You think Gambians can really go, um, I mean, <clears throat> really far into Hollywood with the materials we have here? Yes, of course. I, I think I think it would be a very good idea, like if Gambia expanded into Hollywood, it would be amazing. And I feel like I'm going to be one of the people, not to be cocky or anything, I feel like I'm going to be able to make a way for Gambia. Yeah. That's, that's encouraging. Yeah. That's really encouraging. Talking about the Salma's Diary, um, uh, how many songs do you, you really want to put in these? I mean, um, is it going to be visual, audio, documentary, book, or break it down for me? The Diary of Salma Slims is going to be a free mixtape that I'm putting out. It's going on Chris Brown's website called Mechanical Dummy, and it's also going to be on live mixtapes, SoundCloud, and I'm also going to put it on YouTube. So you can find it everywhere. You just have to Google it. Okay, definitely sounds like um, you you got some good links and connection or platform that really can uh, take you to a next level that you really want to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm the first lady of a collective called The Private Club with Jermaine Dupri's new artist signed to RCA Records. So I'm the first lady, kind of like how Nicki Minaj is of Young Money. So as being the only female in that clique, like I pl it's, it's easier for me because I have a platform of guys behind me that are pushing me. And in, in the other words, I won't get played in the industry because they see that I'm strong. So right now, I'm working on some things and you'll be able to hear a lot more from me. So. Another, another spot I'm gonna put you on. Are you making money yet? Yeah, of course. I get paid for features, I get paid for shows, I get paid to travel sometimes and do shows. So right now I'm making some money off of that. And this is a Gambian talking. So in case if you think we ain't going to make it, <laughs> <laughs> if you think we ain't going to make it, she is making it already. And this is a real, real, real good look. Have you ever got to this venture where um, they be like, you from Africa, you from Gambia, we need you to sound African or Gambian? No, I've never gotten that yet. Great. I hope I I hope maybe one day I'll do a full song in Wello and I'll push it here as a single. But right now, like I haven't been doing any of that. Okay. Yeah. And that means you're definitely comfortable on this one. Yeah, and it's going good. Yeah, yeah. Give us some some links and a way people can really find you. I know a lot of listeners out there are, are saying, Okay, let me try get her on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you know, any medium that you, you use to promote your music. All right. What's up, world? This your girl, Salma Slims, checking in right here on Paradise FM 105.7. You can find me on Twitter.com backslash Salma Slims, YouTube Salma Slims TV, Facebook Salma Slims underscore fans, everything Salma Slims. Y'all just go check that out. And a freestyle for people to listen. I want, we, we, we soon go out. I want you to give us a, a freestyle to close the show, a freestyle of the, okay. maybe the only man of the older song, or your favorite song. Oh, or I could just give y'all something fresh. Great. You know? Okay, give me a second. When my young Jones getting low key faded. Hair still laid, I ain't even get it braided. Private club to the death, I ain't never gon' trade it. Now my ex dude mad cause he see I upgraded. Ooh, dropped my first tape. Who was Salma Slims? People still sleep, but I ain't mad at them. I ain't dropping no bags off. Radio mad cause they see I got fans but they know I'm gonna blast off. <laughs> <laughs> Get some Gambian Nicki Minaj. 
Sal Muslims on backstage, I mean, thanks for coming and uh, really appreciate your coming and uh, we wish you luck, we wish you success as you always keep moving. Keep us up to date with your music, we make sure we have it here for the Gambians to keep following too. You want to give special shouts to anybody? Yeah, shout out to my family, man. I love y'all. Shout out to the Gambia. Sal Muslims in the building, man. Shout out to Paradise for having me, you feel me? And the labels you work with, they ones might watch this on YouTube. Talk to them too. Shout out to So So Deaf family, Jermaine Dupree, the brat, everybody that's staying on my side in Atlanta working with me heavy for this project. And make sure y'all go get the tape that's already out. It's Who is Sama Slims. It's on iTunes and it's also on live mixtape. So y'all go get that. Until we catch with you next week, same station. Keep watching our videos on Mediamatic365 on YouTube. Your host, ENC. Thanks for joining us. Turn up. Turn up. <laughs> Please give me the